Hey again, everybody, and welcome. It's John with People's Republic, and we've got a quick draft of Crimson Vow today. Before we jump into the action, this channel stands with the Black Lives Matter movement, so please do check out the links to funds and charities that support BLM in the YouTube video descriptions, and consider giving part of your monthly magic budget or anything you would donate to my channel to one of those worthwhile causes. Anyway, let's head in. All right, we got a dud of rare and change of fortune, but we've got a couple of uh, decent looking uncommons here um, in Ballista Watcher, which I've been super impressed with, um, and Screaming Swarm, which is higher up on the curve and I haven't played with. Um, seems powerful, uh, but considering red is a much better color in the set, in limited at least, um, I'm more interested in this Ballista Watcher. Among the commons, uh, the only two I would really uh, even look at would be Fierce Retribution and Sigarda's Imprisonment, both in white. Um, but I think we're just going to take this Ballista Watcher. Alright, so we've got a good uncommon here in Diver Scob, but we've got a great common here in Abrade that matches up perfect with the Ballista Watcher. So, kind of just want to take the Abrade. I think that's what we'll do. I'm not going to say no to Ballista Watcher number two, and there's not really anything else in this pack that I'm excited about. We grab it. Okay, um, so, uh, there is a case for, I think, three cards in this pack. Uh, first off, highest power level is Lantern Bear. Um, uh, there's also a good, a fine two drop in Hungry Ridge Wolf here. Uh, that goes with all the rest of what we've done. Um, and there is a Gift of Fangs as the only uh, removal spell in the pack. Um, kind of just want to take the Hungry Ritual. Twos are very important in this uh, format. Um, and we do have two werewolves so far. Um, I'm going to take the Hungry Ritual uh, over the Lantern Bearer there. Okay, so we do have a very good green two drop here in Reclusive Taxidermist, and as much as I like a Voldaren Epicure, um, and I also like Flourishing Hunter, I mean, there are, you know, there are cards in this pack that you can play, Fearful Villager, Courier, uh, Bat, but Reclusive Taxidermist here on pick five, I think I'm going to take that. Um, helps us ramp into these four drops and whatnot. I think we just take uh, Hungry Rich Wolf number two here. Um, I guess there are probably like three cards that I would consider here. Belligerent Guest, obviously, in red. I think it's a fine three drop. Um, Esquilt Shield Basher might be the strongest card in the pack. Uh, and then we've got a Syncopate. Um, I don't want to take the Syncopate right now. Um,. So the question becomes, is Eswald Shield Basher or Belligerent Vest more likely to make it into our deck? I think I'm going to take the Guest over uh, 4 drop number 3. So this is a late Blood Craze Socialite that I kind of want to take. There's a Fearful Villager as the other pack that, uh, the other pick that I would consider. Let's take the Socialite since we don't really know our second color yet. Now, I think probably the best card in the pack is actually the Stitched Assistant, but with what we've got, I think it's probably between Apprentice Sharpshooter and Rotary Gargantua. I think we can get a, a Sure Strike if we want. I'm leaning towards the Apprentice Sharpshooter. So we get Sharpshooter number two, or a Ceremonial Knife, or a Weary Prisoner. Weary Prisoner is... I have yet to figure it out. I think it's like a C-minus card that's, like, fine to put in your deck. Playing against it has been the worst for me, because I just can't... I felt like I, I just can't do anything about a 2-6 blocker on the ground. Um, you know, you have to use premium removal to get it out of the way. I, It's tough. Um... That being said, do we want to take it here? I don't really 
really know that we're going to want a second apprentice sharpshooter either. I think we'll get a ceremonial knife if we want it. Um... Gonna take the sharpshooter. I don't think that that pick is gonna matter that much in the grand scheme of things. Um, so can probably just move fast, fa past it a little bit quicker. Um, I think you can make a case for Snarling Wolf here, or Weird Prisoner, or Sure Strike. I think all those cards are fine. Um, I'm just gonna take the Snarling Wolf. Uh, yeah, we'll put Bramble Armor in the sideboard. Okay, uh, nothing here. And a late crushing canopy. All right. Well, that's not uh, that's not what we're doing, Cemetery Protector. Um, but there is a great red three drop here and a Loring Suitor. Um, there's also an Abrade in the pack and a Parasitic Grasp. I think Suitor makes the most uh, sense here. Um, since we are really, we d still do not know what that second color is. Um, let's take the super. White mythic into white mythic. Um, I like this infestation expert a lot. I, I think we should grab that right now. Um, and start to, uh, center in on green, being our second color. The list of watcher number three. Do we do it? Um... They're going to be our three, uh, four drops if, if we do that. But, I mean, otherwise, what do you take? You take Spore Crawler? You know? Yeah, so. Okay. So, I think the responsible pick here is the Weaver of Blossoms. Um, I really want that Bramble Worm. Um, I think that we don't have the ramp to get to it yet. Ah. Look, do as I say, not as I do. Uh, and now we get a great top end card with Flourishing Hunter. We really should have taken that Weaver of Blossoms. Um, that being said, we're not going to double down. We'll go ahead and take the Flourishing Hunter. Options much more limited here. A lot of black. Um, it's too bad, but I, I do think we are into green now. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Slam that child of pack. Yeah, so we don't really want anything here. Um, we don't have a combat trick yet, so I guess I'll just take this witch's web and put it in the sideboard. I don't really like lightning wolf, and we've got so many four drops already. Um, we have a total dud here. I uh, will take the Discord Scott. We're not going to run a third sharpshooter. Just going to put it in the sideboard. Uh, I mean, I consider running a second spore crawler. I like a two drop here, just as as something. Uh, I'm not going to run a mole graph multi. Okay. Uh, path of peril okay but we do get a weaver of blossoms that's nice um we are gonna want to snap that up oak shade stalker just does not impress me i just don't think that card's that great i don't understand how it ended up at uncommon I mean, that being said, I think we're going to take it here as just a 3-mana three 3-3 three, three wolf. Really kind of want a 2-drop more. Maybe we just take that Dawnheart Disciple instead. I mean, we do have a decent number of humans. I, I think actually, yeah, I'm going to take the Dawnheart Disciple. Cool. I I'd like another 2-drop here. I think Magma Pummeler is great. Um, let's tone that down. Quite good. How about that? I think Magma Pummeler is quite good. Um, that being said, we've got our top end set. Um, so taking additional top end is a little suspect. But... Um, 
Otherwise, I think you could consider the Voldaren Epicure. Um, I'm gonna take that one. Uh, so Weaver of Blossoms is just gonna be better for us than Lamholt Raconteur. Um, we're just not doing spell things. Uh, so the Falconrath Celebrants is like up and away the best card in the pack. Um, to the point where I, you know, we should probably just take it. I'm just thinking about our curve real quick. Um, we're very heavy on threes, so I don't think that adding a Daybreak Combatants is a good call. Um,. I guess I'll take the Celebrants. We're going to have some kind of tough uh, cuts to make. Here we get yet another Weaver of Blossoms. Now we're glad we took that Bramble Worm as a payoff for him. We get Ballista Watcher number four somehow. Um, so n I, I kind of think that like Massive Miter Voldaren Epicure is going to be better for us. I don't think that we can run all of those plus the child of the pack. I think that that's, that's just getting ridiculous now. Um, so, yeah. I, um, as much as I love the card, uh, let me see creature to non-creature. We have exactly one non-creature spell. Let's take the massive might. Okay. Uh, nothing here. Uh, yeah. All the blue you could ever want. Um, I don't think we're going to want two Toxic Scorpions, but I'll take that second one. Get a couple of studs. And another Witch's Web. Okay. Um, so we got five cuts to make. Um, be good if we could hack away some stuff at the top of the curve. I think we should have a three drop as well. Um, and I think, uh, one of them should be an Apprentice Sharpshooter. Um, at the top of the curve... I don't know. I like all this. I probably don't need the second spore crawler. I wonder how much we're going to get out of the Snarling Wolf. Turns on our Hungry Ritual. I don't think there's really anything else that it does, though. Yeah, nothing else really cares about wolves. I suppose there's a chance that... Okay, we can cut one of the Toxic Scorpions. That much I can say. Um, I was going to say there's a chance that like the Snarling Wolf is actually better than the Dawnheart Disciple, and that's what we should cut. There's also a pretty good chance we don't need three Weaver Blossoms. It's not that great in the late game. So I do think um, we're going to cut a creature here. Um, we're weak to flyers, so despite a printed sharpshooter or not, 
really going with the theme of the deck. I don't, I don't think we can cut that. I think it comes down to like Snarling Wolf, probably. Okay, I, I think that's it. I think that's the call. Um, I think Ballista Watcher definitely deserves that digital deck box art. Um, let's take a look at the mana real quick. Yeah, so we actually might want to be higher on Forest then. We're a little bit tilted that way. Okay, um, let's give this a try. I, I think it's pretty solid. Um, we don't have a lot of removal. Like, we didn't get a wolf strike. I, don't, I didn't see a wolf strike. Um, maybe we moved past it real, real fast. But, yeah, I didn't see a wolf strike. Uh, didn't get a last rate flesh to kill anything. But, I mean, it's just the abrade. So... With no unconditional removal, you know... Bombs, bombs can eat us uh, for days. So, Tim looks good. We'll play taxidermist turn two. Go ahead and drop the Bolster Watcher. Play this Weaver Blossoms. I really don't want to lose the Ballista Watcher uh, to the Diagraph Scavenger, so I'm just going to attack with the Bridge Wolf. the death touch to the Ballista Watcher and just knock off the Diagraph Scavenger here.
Yep. Activate the watch app. So we're gonna lose the Dawnhard Disciple probably, uh, but I did want to start training the Sharpshooter. So, the hope here is that they can't uh, play two spells to flip us back. Can use the Ballista Watcher twice next turn. Got a Pummeler. Fine by me. wherever you like. Sure. And we got him. Oh. Oh, the damage is prevented. That's why. Stop there. Ouch. Activate the blood fountain, um, get back like the fearful villager, I guess, they wanted. You give them two blockers, but that's it. Interesting interaction there with the um, Flip Ballista Watcher and uh, Magma Fumbler. Thought we were going to get uh, the lethal attack there, but clearly not. Cridal, I'd already forgotten you, bud. Alright, not too bad. Didn't even have to get to the top end that time. Sharpshooter's low power, though, to start was 
It doesn't look great um, in a real aggressive deck like this. We did get to supplement it though pretty well. Uh, with the taxidermist, yeah. That thing is a tough one, man. I, I've had some difficulty getting through a concealing curtain before. Especially once the eye flips. Millipede and a cloak cadet. Play the Toxic Scorpion. Give the list to watch her death touch. navigate this one. There's a chance we can take out the Ancient Lumber Knot. Um, but not this turn. Um, because we need a total of five mana to do it. So they're going to get the abrade here. Or, huh, sorry. Uh, non, yeah, non land. So, oh yeah, that, that, that was. Never mind. I can't talk. Forget it. say no blocks. I don't... Alright. Um... We have a total of five mana here. Probably just want a Magma Formula X3.
I have tried too many times to get a decent black green deck. Uh, but this, this is the one. This is the one here. I really don't want the Desperate Farmer to flip. Um, if they want to fling the cannon fodder at us, that's fine. Oh, cause, can it go anywhere? No, it loses life equal to toughness. Okay. Yeah. difficulty really coming back from this at all um but can activate the ballista watcher um deal one here Realistically, we're like two activations of that away from dying, so... Yeah. So they can spend essentially the whole turn casting that Cloak Cadet. That's what they're going with. Does he really start as a 2-4? Um... I mean, there's just not much we can do here. Why did we only... I don't know. Um... Because it had three counters on it. Duh. Gotcha. Yeah, 
we gotta block everything. Um, they can just fling uh, one of the two at us if they want. didn't give a trample. Oh, now we can just fling the the eye at us. Yep. It was a good black green deck. Uh, it was cool to see that actually come together. Um, not so great that, you know, I had to be on the receiving end of it. But... <laughs> These things happen. <laughs> Alright, let's get back in there. Occasionally, a really old, angry tree and some very, very clever zombies with big butts. Oh, also weird disembodied eyes that hang out behind curtains. Occasionally, you know, you get all those forces together in the right room and ew. Um... Don't love it. I don't think we mulligan it either, though. Alright, well, I like two Ballista Watchers, but we're gonna need the, uh... Gonna need the second mountain to cast them. We'll see what this, uh, what their next play is, but there's a chance we just killed the Iron Bound Wolf this turn. I missed that third land drop. And, uh, there's not a snap third land drop here. Oof. I think we just charge into combat here. Um, we've got tricks and ways to deal dam uh, damage to stuff. I... It's going to be very difficult for them to block this well.
Alright, let's, uh, might up here. I had uh, enough to do that twice. Don't know why. All right. Well, we got pretty lucky there um, with them missing that third land for several turns, so. I can't really say that that was, um, our, entirely our doing, uh, but, um, it did come together for, uh, for what was, you know, not the clearest keep in the world. This person is three things all at once, or it could be a boy, a dog, and a zebra all playing together. I don't think that's fair. There's too much, there's too much knowledge there split between the boy, the dog, and the zebra. No, I don't think it makes sense to attack there. I think letting them have the blood here is fine. I think getting rid of the socialite is kind of important here. Come 
block one of these and then massive might to live to keep uh, the watcher alive If they've got removal for the Watcher, I mean, that's pretty much the nail in the coffin there. But, um, it doesn't look like they do. No, nah, they do. Oops. Alright, so they got the option to kill the belligerent guest here if they want. Yeah. blood I'm surprised they want to play out a land. Plus I got a six drop. gonna say the the good news is that we've got a couple of blood tokens so like we can you know fairly reliably get some gas next turn ouch not good all right attacks for eight again. We whiffed again. There's a little... Oh, all I have to do is... Oh. <laughs> oh, all I have to do is play that.
Yeah, yeah. We were close, we just whiffed on all those last few draws. We'd found a human off the top of the deck, but... Eh. Could fill the world. Fill the oceans with ifs and buts. Fill the ocean with some butts. That sounds nice. Alright, let's see if we can struggle our way to that third win. Our deck says probably not. <laughs> I, I guess I'm gonna keep that. I, it's among the least keepable hands that I would ever keep, though. All right, that's that's better. Let's go ahead and play the Ballista Watcher. I have removal for the Watcher. Socialite. Yeah, I think we just go Scorpion. Do the Watcher Death Touch, activate the Watcher, and kill the Socialite. Um, yeah, you can have our Sporeback Wolf. What can I get here? I can get the socialite. The shield basher. attack with those two. Unfortunately. 
So the nice thing here is that they're not going to be able to deploy anything other than like the Doom Dissenter, uh, which means we get to ramp into the Bramble Worm. Um, so they're going to get the Shield Basher and the Socialite. Okay. into combat. Alright. Well, that was too bad. But it does mean we get to just keep attacking with these two. Yeah, we're gonna wanna cast that infestation expert next. Actually, I think we could have just won there. Yeah. <laughs> we just activated this. We're good. Okay. Good deal. The hallowed territory of three wins for the YouTube video. We love it. Thunderous Orator. Okay, let's see if we can push it up a little bit. I like this deck. I think this thing's pretty good. Um, it's not perfect. It does not have much interaction. But um, it's doing okay. Yeah, yeah. We haven't seen Child of the Pack yet. That'll be good if we get to play it. But the odds are decent. Ballista Watcher, he's always there for us. Interesting. All right, let's see if we can resolve this alluring sutor. Let's get siphon essence. All right, that's a pretty good one over there. Um, let's go ahead and attack. really would have liked to have been casting one of our four drops there. That was... That was a little rough. Alright, gonna bolt that. Okay. I think we'll start off with the child of the pack. Straight up kill it. Alright. 
We're looking at taking another six here. Not great. See, we're gonna have to kill him in a real hurry. Ugh, yeah. It's been looking good. This is a good looking blue red deck, though. attack with anything. They're gonna wipe away a blocker this coming turn. Um, I assume they're probably gonna want to kill the infestation expert. So I know you just killed the other one. We just don't have good attacks. This thing has done so much work. <laughs> We take four in the air no matter what. I don't think we're long for this world. Killing the sharpshooter, man. That was, that was what they needed, and that's what they did. That throng through a throng, throng, throng. Yeah, we're dead no matter what we do. Um, I guess there was a very slight chance. Um, If they hadn't played the Cruel Witness, uh, we could have, like, machine gunned a couple of those after flipping the Watcher, but, I mean, we are dead. Huh, what can you do? I don't think we got as many wins as we could have with this deck. I think it was really quite good, but, I mean, again, we did lack, you know, the interaction. So, you know, part of that is on us. If we'd had a Flame Blast Bolt, I mean, I don't know that I would say it's on us, because, like, what other opportunities we had to take removal, but anyway, let's take it. Cool, cool. All right, we'll crack this pack and then everybody can get along with their days. All right, making a little bit more progress. What do we got? It's a good one. I like Falconrath Warbear a lot. Very difficult to deal with. All right, cool. All right, well, thank you guys again for joining me. Again, I'm John with People's Republic. People's Republic MTG is the best play group in the Atlanta area. Uh, prior to the pandemic, we drafted together in paper once a week. Uh, we're slowly getting back to having periodic events amongst our fully vaccinated members. So if you happen to be local to the Atlanta area, please do find me on Twitter. That's DirtyCurdy27, D-I-R-T-Y-C-U-R-D-Y-27. Um, and I can help you uh, get hooked up with the group. You can also check out our website. That's peoplesrepublicmtg.com, as well as our Facebook page. 
Um, and the uh, one other message that I've got for you here uh, is please do check out the links to funds and charities that support uh, the Black Lives Matter movement in the YouTube video descriptions. Consider giving part of your monthly magic budget or anything you would donate to my channel, which is Dirty Curdy 27 uh, to one of those worthwhile causes. Anyway, thanks a lot for tuning in, and I will see you guys next time.